Welcome back, it is Ivan here. Before I start doing this makeup look, I just want to say no matter your gender pronoun, your sexual orientation, your ethnicity, and what you believe and where you come from, you are welcome here. This is a safe space. And yeah, I'm just gonna start out with a clean face and use this Sun By Me AHA PHA toner. Um, it gently exfoliates the skin and it contains tea tree to help calm breakouts and i find that this toner really really helped me uh, in terms of calming down my skin next up i go in with this up metacasticide cream as you know metacasticide and centella asiatica is um third ingredients that i really believe really really calm and balance out the skin um, it's great for acne prone skin this one feels like a primer almost and it just locks in all the moisture and hydration that you applied before I just like two products in the daytime really. I'm going in with this matte oil control primer by ELF and it is a clear balm type thing. It's a silicone based primer with tea tree and rice husk. So it's really really great. I feel like it really helps my breakouts and fills in the pores. It also mattifies any area that you apply it on so it's really cool to see that happen. To apply a little bit of shine on my the higher points on my face i'm going in with this vdl primer this video primer is the best for luminosity honestly I, I i think it's one of the better primers out there this 3ce salmon concealer i'm just gonna use it around my under eyes where i haven't gotten sleep it's my first time using it i think it's great um if you are light medium to fair if you are a little bit darker i think going with a more orangey tone will help better this one is a lighter peachy tone but it blends pretty well and i this is the only concealer i need it corrects the blue under eyes and also the greenness from when i shave so i i, I really like it going in with the, one of my favorite drugstore foundations this is the joa beauty um natural liquid foundation it's really great coverage i would say medium coverage but the finish is super natural very very seamless next i'm going in with this up here metacasticide powder pack you know i love this whole line from up here so i had to get the powder this powder has santale asiatica and metacasticide which is crazy and it also has calamine so i've been using it to set my face and i feel like it doesn't cake and also it doesn't cause any more breakouts because it's not fragrance or anything like that also it's a really really great option I'm trying this 3CE contour palette because, you know, I, I love my art class by Rodin, but I think it's just some a time to try a new one. I'm using the lighter bronzy shade to define all over my eyes and snatch the nose and also define around the face. I'd, I'm not going to use too dark of a contour because I don't want this look to look too dark and overpowering. I want it to look very light. So I'm using this fluffy brush by a benefit it's a great br brush because it's super it's not too dense so you won't pick up too much pigment so you can sort of run it over i tried this light shade from this palette and i find it to be quite chalky i really don't know how to use it i think it looks really dry on the skin also so if you're trying to contour your face i would say just skip that pro that that powder in general just use the darker shades going in with these two smart blushes by innisfree one is more of a true coral color the other is a pinky coral so i'm using the coral color in the middle of the face first um and i'm doing it in between the eyes where the nose bridge starts i want the blush to look to start there i think it's a very cute look i, I think i was inspired by um some sort of anime character I, i'm not super sure but i thought it was cute to do blush in between the eyes just slowly blend it out with a brush and add more color as you need this one is the pinkier shade i'm just gonna layer it on top and sort of blend everything out i'm using a luxie small contour brush luxie brushes are amazing just so you know 
I've been loving the flesh blushes. It's not a secret. Like, I use it almost in every video. This one is in glaze. It's the perfect nude. I'm gonna brush it over where I applied the cream blush to set everything and blend everything out. Going in with my brows, I'm gonna keep it simple. This tint, my brow pen, is amazing. It, you can use it to draw small strokes. It lasts a long time. And yeah, the only problem I have is that it's, it, they don't have too many shades of color for this, but I think this is dark enough for everyday wear and super convenient, like really, really easy to use too. Next, going in with a coral eyeshadow palette. Also, I'm going with this Cleo layering eye palette in the shade Softish. I'm gonna brush the light corally orange all over just to apply a wash of color. I don't want the eyes to be too dark. And I'm mixing these two colors just to define the eyes even more after that. Just use a blending brush to blend everything in after you've applied where you want it to be defined. After that, I'm going in with the darkest color in the palette, which is a dark brown, just to line the eyes and also wing it out a little bit more. I'm also going to focus some of the color on the outer thirds, on the top and the bottom. Just blend everything out. Um, so it's seamless because again, that's what we're aiming for. Don't go too dark with the colors because I want this look to look quite bright. Brighten the inner corners with any of their bright shimmery shades. They'll just add a pop and also draw more attention to the eyes. I love this eyeliner. It is so affordable. It comes with its own brush. There are several colors and it's super waterproof, guys. Um, I. <laughs> I've gone out with this and the next morning it's still on my eyes. I know it's bad, but it happens. I really try to cleanse, but um, sometimes it's hard to clean like the waterline, you know? So in the morning it's still there. But yeah, this is a really, really great eyeliner. Great for beginners. So I went to the e.l.f. store here in LA and I picked up this workout ready lip tint. I was like, wow, athletic people wear this? I should try it too. I mean, I try to do yoga. But this is a nude shade, so I I like the color a lot. It's an orangey nude. It's not like too red, so it's perfect for this look. It's a corally bright bright red, I would say, and it's not super pigmented, so it's quite sheer and it does make you look like your lips are but better, you know. Going with it with a highlighter, I'm just gonna highlight all the high points on my face which is my cheekbones uh around the nose you know around the forehead wherever you want it to look shiny i guess this down line highlighter is great for people with light to medium skin tones i would say finishing the look up with some faux freckles um i'm using the new benefit pencil and i wanted to clean up my brows a little bit so i used a clear brow gel just to hold everything in place and that's it you're done with the look finish look super easy super simple gives sort of like a ethereal any boy any boy or girl type of look i really like it it's very simple to do so if you recreate this look please tag me on instagram so i can see it or you can dm it to me also i love seeing your work and i love seeing what you guys do with my looks so say bye to meow meow bye meow, meow. all right guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye